The Punjabis Punjabi, Nubi Punjabi or Punjabi people are an ethnic group associated with the Punjab region in South Asia, specifically in the northern part of the Indian subcontinent, presently divided between Punjab, India and Punjab, Pakistan. They speak Punjabi, a language from the Indo-Aryan language family. The name Punjab literally means the land of five waters in Persian, Panj, five, Ab, waters. The name of the region was introduced by the Turco-Persian conquerors of the Indian subcontinent. The historical Punjab region, see the partition of Punjab for important historical context, is often referred to as the breadbasket in both India and Pakistan, the coalescence of the various tribes, castes and the inhabitants of the Punjab into a broader common Punjabi identity initiated from the onset of the 18th century CE. Prior to that the sense and perception of a common Punjabi Ethno-cultural identity and community did not exist, even though the majority of the various communities of the Punjab had long shared linguistic, cultural and racial commonalities. Traditionally, Punjabi identity is primarily linguistic, geographical and cultural. Its identity is independent of historical origin or religion, and refers to those who reside in the Punjab region, or associate with its population, and those who consider the Punjabi language their mother tongue. Integration and assimilation are important parts of Punjabi culture, since Punjabi identity is not based solely on tribal connections. More or less all Punjabis share the same cultural background. Historically, the Punjabi people were a heterogeneous group and were subdivided into a number of clans called Biradari, literally meaning brotherhood, or tribes, with each person bound to a clan. However, Punjabi identity also included those who did not belong to any of the historical tribes. With the passage of time, tribal structures are coming to an end and are being replaced with a more cohesive and holistic society, as community building and group cohesiveness form the new pillars of Punjabi society. In relative contemporary terms, Punjabis can be referred to in three most common subgroups, Punjabi Muslims, Punjabi Sikhs and Punjabi Hindus. <laughs> Geographic distribution Topic. Topic. Sikh era Punjab Topic. In the 19th century, Maharaja Ranjit Singh established a Punjabi kingdom based around the Punjab. The main geographical footprint of the country was the Punjab region to Khyber Pass in the west, to Kashmir in the north, to Sindh in the south, and Tibet in the east. The religious demography of the kingdom was Muslim 70%, Sikh 17%, Hindu 13%. The population was 3.5 million, according to Amarinder Singh s The Last Sunset, The Rise and Fall of the Lahore Durbar. In 1799 Ranjit Singh moved the capital to Lahore from Gujranwala, where it had been established in 1763 by his grandfather, Sharat Singh. The Punjab region was a region straddling India and the Afghan Durrani Empire. The following modern-day political divisions made up the historical Punjabi kingdom Punjab region till Multan in south Punjab, Punjab, Pakistan, with the capital Lahore, Lahore Parts of Punjab, India Himachal Pradesh, India Haryana, India Jammu, India, annexed 1808-17 June 1822 Kashmir, conquered 5 July 1819 to 15 March 1846, India, Pakistan, China Gilgit, Gilgit Baltistan, Pakistan. Occupied from 1842 to 1846. Ladakh, India, Khyber Pass, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Peshawar, Pakistan, taken in 1818, retaken in 1834. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and the federally administered tribal areas, Pakistan documented from Hazara taken in 1818, again in 1836 to Banu after Ranjit Singh's death in 1839, the empire was severely weakened by internal divisions and political mismanagement. This opportunity was used by the British East India Company to launch the Anglo-Sikh Wars. The country was finally annexed and dissolved at the end of the Second Anglo-Sikh War in 1849 into separate princely states and the British province of Punjab. Eventually, a lieutenant governorship was formed in Lahore as a direct representative of the British Crown. Topic. Partition of Punjab 
the 1947 independence of India and Pakistan, and the subsequent partition of Punjab, is considered by historians to be the beginning of the end of the British Empire. The UNHCR estimates 14 million Hindus, Sikhs and Muslims were displaced during the partition. To date, this is considered the largest mass migration in human history. Until 1947, the province of Punjab was ruled by a coalition comprising the Indian National Congress, the Sikh led Shiromani Akali Dal, and the Unionist Muslim League. However, the growth of Muslim nationalism led to the All India Muslim League becoming the dominant party in the 1946 elections. As Muslim separatism increased, the opposition from Punjabi Hindus and Sikhs increased substantially. Communal violence on the eve of Indian independence led to the dismissal of the coalition government, although the succeeding League ministry was unable to form a majority. Along with the province of Bengal, Punjab was partitioned on religious lines, the Muslim majority West becoming part of the new Muslim state of Pakistan, and the Hindu and Sikh East remaining in India. Partition was accompanied by massive violence on both sides, claiming the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. West Punjab was virtually cleansed of its Hindu and Sikh populations, who were forced to leave for India, while East Punjab and Delhi were virtually cleansed of their Muslim population. By the 1960s, Indian Punjab underwent reorganization as demands for a linguistic Punjabi state increased in line with the policy of linguistic states that had been applied in the rest of India. The Hindi-speaking areas were formed into the states of Himachal Pradesh and Haryana respectively, leaving a Punjabi-speaking majority in the state of Punjab. In the 1980s, Sikh separatism combined with popular anger against the Indian Army's counter-insurgency operations especially Operation Blue Star led to violence and disorder in Indian Punjab, which only subsided in the 1990s. Political power in Indian Punjab is contested between the Secular Congress Party and the Sikh religious party Akali Dal and its allies, the Bharatiya Janata Party. Indian Punjab remains one of the most prosperous of India's states and is considered the breadbasket of India. Subsequent to partition, West Punjabis made up a majority of the Pakistani population, and the Punjab province constituted 40% of Pakistan total land mass. Today, Punjabis continue to be the largest ethnic group in Pakistan, accounting for half of the country's population. They reside predominantly in the province of Punjab, neighboring Azad Kashmir and in Islamabad capital territory. Punjabis are also found in large communities in the largest city of Pakistan, Karachi, located in the Sindh province. Punjabis in India can be found in the states of Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Delhi and the Union Territory of Chandigarh. Large communities of Punjabis are also found in the Jammu region of Jammu and Kashmir and in Rajasthan, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh. <laughs> Punjabis in Pakistan Punjabis are numbered as 110,012,442, which make 55% of the population of Pakistan, and they are the largest ethnic group in Pakistan by population. The Punjabis found in Pakistan belong to groups known as Biradaris. In addition, Punjabi society is divided into two divisions, the Zamindar groups or Qums, traditionally associated with farming and the Moines, who are traditionally artisans. Some zamindars are further divided into groups such as the Rajputs, Jats, Sheikhs or Muslim Khatris, Gujars, Awans, Arains and Syeds. People from neighboring regions, such as Kashmiris, Pashtuns and Baluk, also form sizable portion of the Punjabi population. A large number of Punjabis descend from the groups historically associated with skilled professions and crafts such as Sunar, Lohar, Kumhar, Tarkhan, Julaha, Mochi, Hajam, Chimba Darzi, Teli, Lalari, Kasab, Mala, Dobi, Marasi etc. Punjabi people have traditionally and historically been farmers and soldiers, which has transferred into modern times with their dominance of agriculture and military fields in Pakistan. In addition, Punjabis in Pakistan have been quite prominent politically, having had many elected members of parliament. Punjabis in Pakistan have shown a predilection towards the adoption of the Urdu language but nearly all speak Punjabi, and still identify themselves as ethnic Punjabis. Religious homogeneity remains elusive as a predominant Sunni population with Shia, Ahmadiyya and Christian minorities. 
A variety of related subgroups exist in Pakistan and are often considered by many Pakistani Punjabis to be simply regional Punjabis including the Saraikas who overlap and are often considered transitional with the Sindhis. The recent definition of Punjabi people, in Pakistani Punjab, is not based on racial classification, common ancestry or endogamy, but based on geographical and cultural basis. Topic. Punjabis in India Topic. The Punjabi-speaking people make 2.8% of India's population as of 2001. The total number of Indian Punjabis is unknown due to the fact that ethnicity is not recorded in the census of India. The Sikhs are largely concentrated in the modern-day state of Punjab forming 57.7% of the population with Hindus forming 38.5%. Ethnic Punjabis are believed to account for at least 35% of Delhi's total population and are predominantly Hindi-speaking Punjabi Hindus. In Chandigarh, 80.78% people of the population are Hindus, 13.11% are Sikhs, 4.87% are Muslims and minorities are Christians, Buddhists and Jains. Like the Punjabi Muslim society, these various castes are associated with particular occupations or crafts. Indian Punjab is also home to small groups of Muslims and Christians. Most of the East Punjab's Muslims in today's states of Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Delhi and Chandigarh left for West Punjab in 1947. However, a small community still exists today, mainly in Qadian, and Malarkotla, the only Muslim princely state among the seven that formed the erstwhile Patiala and East Punjab States Union the other six mostly Sikh states were, Patiala, Naba, Jind, Faridkot, Kapurtala and Kalsia. The Indian censuses record the native languages, but not the descent of the citizens. Linguistic data cannot accurately predict ethnicity, for example, Punjabis make up a large portion of Delhi's population but many descendants of the Punjabi Hindu refugees who came to Delhi following the partition of India now speak Hindi as their first language. Thus, there is no concrete official data on the ethnic makeup of Delhi and other Indian states. The Punjab region within India maintains a strong influence on the perceived culture of India towards the rest of the world. Numerous Bollywood film productions use the Punjabi language in their songs and dialogue as well as traditional dances such as Bhangra. Bollywood has been dominated by Punjabi artists including actors such as the Kapoor family, Devanand, Sunil Dutt, Pran, Prem Chopra, Manoj Kumar, Dharmendra, Rajesh Khanna, Vinod Khanna, Kabir Bedi, Vinod Mehra, Pankaj Kapur, Sunny Deal, Anil Kapoor, Poonam Dhillon, Juhi Chawla, Akshay Kumar, Rithik Roshan, Arjun Kapoor, Sanam Kapoor, Ranbir Kapoor, Shahid Kapoor, Varun Dewan, Priyanka Chopra, Pariniti Chopra and Siddharth Malhotra, singers Muhammad Rafi, Mahendra Kapoor, Narendra Chanchal, Sukhwinder Singh, Dalar Mendy, Mika Singh, Badshah, Yo Yo Honey Singh, and Kanika Kapoor. Punjabi Prime Ministers of India include Gulzaril Nanda, Inder Kumar Gujral and Manmohan Singh. There are numerous players in the Indian cricket team both past and present including Lala Amarnath, Bishan Singh Bedi, Kapil Dev, Rajinda Singh Gai, Yograj Singh, Mohinder Amarnath, Navjot Sidhu, Harbhajan Singh, Yuvraj Singh, Virat Kohli and Shikhar Dewan. Topic. Punjabi diaspora Topic. The Punjabi people have emigrated in large numbers to many parts of the world. In the early 20th century, many Punjabis began settling in the United States, including independence activists who formed the Ghadar Party. The United Kingdom has a significant number of Punjabis from both Pakistan and India. The most populous areas being London, Birmingham and Glasgow. In Canada, specifically Vancouver and Toronto, and the United States, specifically California's Central Valley. In the 1970s, a large wave of emigration of Punjabis predominantly from Pakistan began to the Middle East, in places such as the UAE, Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. There are also large communities in East Africa including the countries of Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. Punjabis have also emigrated to Australia, New Zealand and Southeast Asia including Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore and Hong Kong. Of recent times many Punjabis have also moved to Italy. Topic. Punjabi homeland 
Topic. According to Pippa Verdi, the 1947 partition of India and Pakistan has shadowed the sense of loss of what used to be a homeland nation for the Punjabi people in the Indian subcontinent and its diaspora. Since the mid-1980s, there has been a drive for Punjabi cultural revival, consolidation of Punjabi ethnicity and a virtual Punjabi nation. According to Giorgio Shani, this is predominantly a Sikh ethno-nationalism movement led by some Sikh organizations, and a view that is not shared by Punjabi people organizations belonging to other religions. History of Punjab Indigenous population flourished in this region, leading to a developed civilization in 5th to 4th millennium BC, the ancient Indus Valley Civilization. Also Buddhism remnants have been found like Mankiala which corroborate the Buddhist background of this region as well, the remains of the ancient city of Taxila, and many ornaments that have been found in this region, suggests that, one of the centers of Indus Valley Civilization was established at many parts of Punjab, most notably Taxila and Harappa. Punjab became a center of early civilization from around 3300 BC. During the Vedic era the earliest texts of Rigveda were composed in Greater Punjab Northwest India and Pakistan region. According to historians this region was ruled by many small kingdoms and tribes around 4th and 5th BCE. The earliest known notable local king of this region was known as King Porus and he fought a famous battle of the Hydaspes against Alexander. His kingdom, known as Paravas, was situated between Hydaspes modern Jhelum and Assisines modern day Chanab. These kings fought local battles to gain more ground. Taxiles or Amphis, another local king from Punjab, wanted to defeat his eastern adversary Porus in a turf war and he invited Alexander the Great to defeat Porus. This marked the first intrusion of the West in the Indian subcontinent and Indus Valley in general. But such was the valor of Porus and his kingdom forces in Punjab, that despite being defeated, he was appreciated by Alexander the Great for his skill and valor and he was granted further territories in the north. The other local kings did not like the fact that Porus was now an ally of Western forces. In less than ten years an Indian king Chandragupta Maurya defeated the forces and conquered the northern Indian regions up to the Kabul River in modern-day Afghanistan. Alexander mostly ruled this land with the help of local allies like Porus. Centuries later, areas of the Punjab region were ruled by local kings followed by the Ghaznavids, Ghurids, Mughals, and others. Islam arrived in Punjab when the Muslim Umayyad army led by Muhammad bin Qasim conquered Sindh in 711 AD, by defeating Raja Dahir. Some of the Muslims are said to have settled in the region and adopted the local culture. Centuries later, the Ghaznavids introduced aspects of foreign Persian and Turkic culture in Punjab. The earliest written Punjabi dates back to the writing of Sufi Muslim poets of the 11th century. Its literature spread Punjab's unique voice of peace and spirituality to the entire civilization of the region. Regions of North India and Punjab were annexed into the Afghan Durrani Empire later on in 1747, being a vulnerable target. However, in 1758, the Marathas captured most of Punjab including Lahore during its northwest expansion campaign. After conquering Peshawar and Atak, the Marathas defeated the Durrani Empire in the Battle of Lahore fought in 1759. The region was lost to the Durranis, however, after the Third Battle of Panipat. The grandson of Ahmed Shah Durrani, Zaman Shah Durrani lost it to Ranjit Singh, a Punjabi Sikh. He was born in 1780 to Maha Singh and Raj Kaur in Gujranwala, Punjab. Ranjit took a leading role in organizing a Sikh militia and got control of the Punjab region from Zaman Shah Durrani. Ranjit started a Punjabi military expedition to expand his territory. Under his command the Sikh army began invading neighboring territories outside of Punjab. The Jamrud fort at the entry of Khyber Pass was built by Ranjit Singh. The Sikh empire slowly began to weaken after the death of Hari Singh Nalwa at the Battle of Jamrud in 1837. Two years later, in 1839, Ranjit Singh died and his son took over control of the empire. By 1850 the British took over control of the Punjab region after defeating the Sikhs in the Anglo-Sikh Wars, establishing their rule over the region for around the next 100 years as a part of the British Raj. Many Sikhs and Punjabis later pledged their allegiance to the British, serving as sepoys native soldiers within the Raj. Religions. Topic. 
In ancient and the medieval era, before the arrival of Islam into the Indian subcontinent, Buddhism and Hinduism were the predominant religion in the Punjab region. After Islam arrived, conversions began leading to a mixed population of Muslims and Hindus, and Buddhism vanished. After Guru Nanak founded Sikhism in the 15th century, the population increasingly became a mix of Hindus, Muslims and Sikhs. As with the contemporary Punjabis, the region of Punjab is the birthplace of one monotheistic religion that is known as Sikhism. Also many well-known followers of Sufism were born in Punjab. Due to religious tensions, emigration between Punjabi people started far before the partition and dependable records. Shortly prior to the partition of British India, Punjab had a slight majority Muslim population at about 53.2% in 1941, which was an increase from the previous years. With the division of Punjab and the subsequent independence of Pakistan and later India, mass migrations of Muslims from Indian Punjab to Pakistan, and those of Sikhs and Hindus from Pakistan to Indian Punjab occurred. Today, the majority of Pakistani Punjabis follow Islam with a small Christian minority, while the majority of Indian Punjabis are either Sikhs or Hindus with a Muslim minority. Punjab is also the birthplace of Sikhism and the movement Ahmadiyya. Following the independence of Pakistan and the subsequent partition of British India, a process of population exchange took place in 1947 as Muslims began to leave India and headed to the newly created Pakistan, and Hindus and Sikhs left Pakistan for the newly created state of India. As a result of these population exchanges, both parts are now relatively homogeneous, where religion is concerned. Population trends for major religious groups in the Punjab province of British India 1881 to 1941 Topic Punjabi Muslims In 2017 places the total population of Punjabi Muslims to be 110,012,442 approximately 75% of all Punjabis, with 97% of Punjabis who live in Pakistan following Islam, in contrast to Punjabi Sikhs and Punjabi Hindus who predominantly live in India. A variety of Muslim dynasties and kingdoms ruled the Punjab region, including Ghaznavids under Mahmud of Ghazni, the Delhi Sultanate, the Mughal Empire and finally the Durrani Empire. The province became an important centre and Lahore was made into a second capital of the Ghaznavid Empire. The Delhi Sultanate and later Mughal Empire ruled the region. Missionary Sufi saints whose dargahs dot the landscape of Punjab region also played the dominant role in bringing about conversion. Sufis also comprised the educated elites of the Punjab for many centuries. Early classical Punjabi epics, such as Heer Ranja, Mirza Sahiban, etc. were written by the Sufis like Waris Shah. Muslims established Punjabi literature, utilized Shamuki as the predominant script of the Punjab, as well as made major contributions to the music, art, cuisine and culture of the region. The Mughals controlled the region from 1524 until 1739 and would also lavish some parts of the province with building projects such as the Shalimar Gardens and the Badshahi Mosque, both situated in Lahore. The Muslim establishment in the Punjab occurred over a period of several centuries lasting until towards the end of the British Raj and the division of the Punjab province between Pakistan and India in August 1947. After the independence of Pakistan in 1947, the minority Hindus and Sikhs migrated to India while the Muslim refugees from India settled in the Pakistan. Today Muslims constitute only 1.53% of Eastern Punjab in India as now the majority of Muslims live in Western Punjab in Pakistan. The vast majority of Pakistan's population are native speakers of the Punjabi language and it is the most spoken language in Pakistan. The majority of Pakistani Punjabis speak the standard Punjabi dialect of Maji, which is considered the Punjabi dialect of the educated class, as well as Landa including Hindko and Saraiki. Muslim Punjabis in Pakistan use the Persian script to write the Punjabi language. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Punjabi Hindus. Topic: <inaudible> Today Punjabi Hindus are mostly found in Indian Punjab where they make around 38% of the population and in neighboring states like Haryana, Himachal Pradesh and Delhi, which together forms a part of the historical Greater Punjab region. Many of the Hindu Punjabis from the Indian capital Delhi are immigrants and their descendants, from various parts of western Pakistani Punjab. 
Some Punjabi Hindus can also be found in the surrounding areas as well as the recent cosmopolitan migrants in other big cities like Mumbai. There has also been continuous migration of Punjabi Hindus to Western countries like USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, European Union, UAE and UK. Punjabis Hindus speak different dialects including Londa, as well as Maji standard Punjabi and others like Dobi and Malwi. Some still have managed to retain the Punjabi dialects spoken in Western Punjab, but many have also adopted Hindi. Punjabi Hindus in India use the Gurmukhi or Nagari script to write the Punjabi language. Topic. Punjabi Sikhs Topic. Sikhi from Sikh, meaning a disciple or a learner, is a monotheistic religion and nation originated in the Punjab region of the Indian subcontinent during the 15th century. The fundamental beliefs of Sikhi, articulated in the sacred scripture Guru Granth Sahib, include faith and meditation on the name of the One Creator, unity and equality of all humankind, engaging in selfless service, striving for social justice for the benefit and prosperity of all, and honest conduct and livelihood while living a householder's life. Being one of the youngest amongst the major world religions, with 25 to 28 million adherents worldwide, Sikhi is the fifth largest religion in the world. The Sikhs form a majority of close to 58% in the modern-day Punjab, India. Gurmukhi is the writing script used by Sikhs and for scriptures of Sikhism. It is used in official documents in parts of India and elsewhere. The tenth living guru of Sikhs, Guru Gobind Singh established the Khalsa Brotherhood, and set for them a code of conduct. Topic. Punjabi Christians. Topic. Missionaries accompanied the colonizing forces from Portugal, France, and Great Britain. Christianity was mainly brought by the British rulers of India in the later 18th and 19th century. The total number of Punjabi Christians in Pakistan is approximately 2,800,000 and 300,000 in Indian Punjab. Of these, approximately half are Roman Catholic and half Protestant. Many of the modern Punjabi Christians are descended from converts during British rule. Initially, conversions to Christianity came from the upper levels of Punjab society, from the privileged and prestigious, including high caste Hindu families, as well as Muslim families. However, other modern Punjabi Christians have converted from Churas. The Churas were largely converted to Christianity in North India during the British Raj. The vast majority were converted from the Mazabi Sikh communities of Punjab, and to a lesser extent Hindu Churas, under the influence of enthusiastic British Army officers and Christian missionaries. Consequently, since the independence they are now divided between Pakistani Punjab and Indian Punjab. Large numbers of Mazabi Sikhs were also converted in the Muradabad district and the Bijnar district of Uttar Pradesh. Rohilkan saw a mass conversion of its entire population of 4,500 Mazabi Sikhs into the Methodist Church. Sikh organizations became alarmed at the rate of conversions among high caste Sikh families, and as a result, they responded by immediately dispatching Sikh missionaries to counteract the conversions. Culture Punjabi culture is the culture of the Punjab region. It is one of the oldest and richest cultures in world history, dating from ancient antiquity to the modern era. The Punjabi culture is the culture of the Punjabi people, who are now distributed throughout the world. The scope, history, sophistication and complexity of the culture are vast. Some of the main areas include Punjabi poetry, philosophy, spirituality, artistry, dance, music, cuisine, military weaponry, architecture, languages, traditions, values and history. Historically, the Punjab – Punjabis, in addition to their rural agrarian lands and culture, have also enjoyed a unique urban cultural development in two great cities, Lahore and Amritsar. Topic. Role of women. Topic. In the traditional Punjabi culture women look after the household and children. Also women in general manage the finances of the household. Moreover, Punjabi women fought in the past along with the men when the time arose. Majority of Punjabi women were considered as warriors upon a time, they excelled in the art of both leadership and war. 
They are still considered and treated as leaders among many Punjabi villages. In Sikhism, it is stated that women are to be equal to men in all aspects of life. Mai Bago is a good example in this regard. Punjabi Sikh women also have a strong artistic tradition. Amrita Pritam was a notable poet in the 20th century. Amrita Shurgal was a renowned painter. Priyanka Chopra and Rupi Kaur are modern-day example of this as well. She was followed by many other women of repute. Topic. Language Topic. Punjabi is the most spoken language in Pakistan and 11th most spoken language in India. According to the Ethnologue 2005 estimate, there are 130 million native speakers of the Punjabi language, which makes it the ninth most widely spoken language in the world. According to a 2008 estimate, there are approximately 76,335,300 native speakers of Punjabi in Pakistan, and according to the Census of India, there are over 29,102,477 Punjabi speakers in India. Punjabi is also spoken as a minority language in several other countries where Punjabis have emigrated in large numbers, such as the United Kingdom where it is the second most commonly used language and Canada, in which Punjabi has now become the fourth most spoken language after English, French and Chinese, due to the rapid growth of immigrants from Pakistan and India. There are also sizable communities in the United States, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Persian Gulf countries, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, Australia and New Zealand. Punjabis are an ethno-linguistic group with Indo-Aryan roots, and are culturally related to the other Indo-Aryan peoples of the Indian subcontinent. There are an estimated 102 million Punjabi speakers around the world. If regarded as an ethnic group, they are among the world's largest. In South Asia, they are the second largest ethnic group after the Bengali people. The main language of the Punjabi people is Punjabi and its associated dialects, which differ depending on the region of Punjab the speaker is from. There are notable differences in the Landa languages, spoken in the Pakistani Punjab. In the Pakistani Punjab, the vast majority still speak Punjabi, even though the language has no governmental support. In the Indian Punjab, most people speak Punjabi. English is sometimes used, and older people who lived in the undivided Punjab may be able to speak and write in Urdu. The Punjabi languages have always absorbed numerous loanwords from surrounding areas and provinces and from English. Cuisine Punjabi cuisine has an immense range of dishes and has become world leader in the field, so much so that many entrepreneurs that have invested in the sector have built large personal fortunes due to the popularity of Punjabi cuisine throughout the world. Punjabi cuisine uses unique spices. The Punjabi cuisine has become popular in the world, not only due to its intrinsic quality but, due to the fact that the Punjabi diaspora is very much visible in the Western world especially, the UK, Canada and the US the popular dishes are tandoori chicken, dal makhni, chicken tikka babdar, sarandha saag and stuffed or unstuffed naans a type of unleavened bread. Topic. Music. Topic. Bhangra describes dance-oriented popular music with Punjabi rhythms, developed since the 1980s. The name refers to one of the traditional and folkloric Punjabi dances. Bhangra music is appreciated all over the globe. Sufi music and Qawwali are other important genres in Punjab. Topic. Dance Topic. Owing to the long history of the Punjabi culture and of the Punjabi people, there are a large number of dances normally performed at times of celebration, the time of festivals known as Milas and the most prominent dances are at Punjabi weddings, where the elation is usually particularly intense. Punjabi dances are performed either by men or by women. The dances range from solo to group dances and also sometimes dances are done along with musical instruments like dhol, flute, sup, dumri, chimta etc. Other common dances that both men and women perform are Karthi, Jindua, and Dandas. Bhangra dance is the most famous aspect of Punjabi dance tradition. Its popularity has attained a level where a music is produced with the intent of aiding people to carry out this form of dancing. 
Wedding traditions Punjabi wedding traditions and ceremonies are conducted in Punjabi, and are a strong reflection of Punjabi culture. Many local songs are a part of the wedding and are known as bolian. While the actual religious marriage ceremony among Muslims, Sikhs, Hindus, and Jains may be conducted in Arabic, Punjabi, Sanskrit, by the Qazi, Pandit or Granthi, there are also many commonalities in ritual, song, dance, food, makeup and dress. The Punjabi wedding has many rituals and ceremonies that have evolved since traditional times. Punjabi receptions of all sorts are known to be very energetic, filled with loud bhangra music, people dancing, and a wide variety of Punjabi food. Folk tales the folk tales of Punjab include many stories which are passing through generations and includes folk stories like Heer Ranja, Mirza Sahiban, Soni Mahiwal etc. to name a few. <laughs> Festivals Vaisakhi, Jashan e Baharan, Basant, Kanak Katai da Mela wheat cutting celebrations, and many more. The Jagratha, also called Jaga or Jagran, means an all-night vigil. This type of vigil is found throughout India and is usually held to worship a deity with song and ritual. The goal is to gain the favor of the goddess, to obtain some material benefit, or repay her for one already received. The goddess is invoked by the devotees to pay them a visit at the location of the Jagratha, whether it be in their own homes or communities, in the form of a flame. Traditional dress Topic. Distar A distar is an item of headgear associated with Sikhi and is an important part of the Punjabi and Sikh culture. The symbolic article of the nation represents honor, self-respect, courage, spirituality, and piety. Wearing a Sikh distar, or turban, is mandatory for all Amrithari initiated Sikh men and women. In ancient times, two Punjabis would exchange their turbans to show friendship towards each other. Prior to Sikhi, only kings, royalty, and those of high stature wore turbans. Punjabi suit A Punjabi suit that features three items, a kamis top, salwar bottom, and dupada scarf is the traditional female attire of the Punjabi people. A kamis is a usually loose-fitted outer garment from upper thigh to mid-calf length. Along with the kamis, Punjabi women wear a salwar that consists of long trousers drawn at the waist and tapered to the ankle. The other complementary feature of the Punjabi suit is the dupatta, often used to cover the chest and head. Among the Punjabi people, the dupatta has long been a symbol of modesty. Kurta pajama A kurta pajama that comprises two items, a kurta top and pajama bottom is the traditional male attire of the Punjabi people. Sports Various types of sports are played in Punjab. They are basically divided into outdoor and indoor sports. Special emphasis is put to develop both the mental and physical capacity while playing sports. That is why recently sports like speed reading, mental abacus, historical and IQ tests are arranged as well. Indoor sports are specially famous during the long summer season in Punjab. Also indoor sports are played by children in homes and in schools. Gili Danda is very famous indigenous sports among children along with Parchisi. Pitu Garam is also famous among children. Stapu is famous among young girls of Punjab. Also many new games are included with the passage of time. The most notable are Karam, Ludo, board game, Scrabble, Chess, Drafts, Go, Monopoly. The tabletop games games include billiards and snooker. Backgammon locally known as Damagi Bazi mental game is famous in some regions as well. The outdoor sports include Kusti a wrestling sport, Kabaddi, Rasa Kashi tug of war, Patang kite flying, and Neza Bazi or tent pegging a cavalry sport, Gatka, is also taken as a form of sports. Punjab being part of the Indian subcontinent, the sport of cricket is very popular. New forms of sports are also being introduced and adopted in particular by the large overseas Punjabis, such as ice hockey, soccer, boxing, mixed martial arts, rugby union as part of the globalization of sports. Notable people 
Topic. Topic. See also. Topic. Dialects of the Punjab. Punjabi press. Punjabi cuisine. Topic. Notes. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. References and further reading. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Media related to Punjabi people, ethnic group, at Wikimedia Commons.